Good morning. So uh, we've just been going through servicing the forks, uh, the front forks on the Yamaha WR500. And uh, if you watched any of my previous videos, you'll have noticed that I did this. I, I sent the shock away to get it serviced at case, and um, it had uh, a spring on it that was massively, massively uh, over overrated for my weight. Um, and so I wanted to check the uh, what springs are in the in the front of the bike, and there's absolutely no markings on them at all. So it's highly probable that they're just the stock springs. So uh, I've done a calculation, and I think I need a 0.42 kilo per millimeter spring to go in the front. Standards, I think, are 0.38. Uh, so I just want to check uh, what uh, these these springs are. So basically, what you do is you need to uh, need to do a spring compression test. Now I don't have a special tool for that or anything like that. So what I've got, I've got the spring here. I've got a piece of aluminium tube there, and I've got some uh, some weight plates. So what I'm going to do is I am going to measure the length of the spring without any weight on it. Uh, then highly technical, I'm going to put this little weight clip on the spring there like that. And then I'm going to stick a bit of weight on there and I'm going to do a few increments. Uh, and I'm going to measure how long the spring is with that weight on. So the reason why I'm going to do it in a few increments is to make sure that it's a... Uh, a linear spring so it's not a progressive spring I mean I I, I can see that it's not the, the coils are all evenly spaced so I'm sure it's not I'm just going to do a few different weights uh, and then and then I should be able to get an average um, and I'll be able to work out the uh, the kilos per millimeter that, that springs rated to and find out whether it's um, whether it's the right one for my weight or not so first of all uh, the first technical bit of equipment, which is a uh, tape measure. So I'm going to measure the spring, and it is 488 millimeters with no weight, so zero kilos for 88 mil. Okay. So there will be a fractional bit of weight to that, but I'm not, I'm not going to count that. And then I stick two and a half kilos on. And uh, so I've got my 2.5 kilos there. 2.5 kilos. And I'll calculate now over a new new length is 481 for a one millimeters put another two and a half on so that's now five kilos it's simple maths there So that is now 478. 478. Let's double check that first one. Five on, so that's now ten kilos in total. Five and then ten. So that's four hundred and
we'll get another five, and I think that should bring us down to 458, which would then appear to be completely linear. Fifteen kilos on there. And that is four hundred and fifty-eight. So that is linear spring. Fifteen four fifty-eight. So I need to get me uh, need to get my calculator out. So uh, so I've got thirty mils there. 15 kilos uh, so I'm just going to uh, pause this get my calculator out and work that out and uh, I'll be back with you in a second sorry about that I should have been able to just do that in my head so basically it was 30 mils different so we started off with zero kilos on there at 488 mil uh, and the final reading that we had was 458 mil so it's a difference of 30 mils so basically and then uh, it was a total of 15 kilos. It was linear all the way through, uh, we saw. So at five kilos, uh, the spring had compressed by 10 mil, so it was 478 mil. At 10 kilos, it was 468 mil. And at uh, 15 kilos, it was 458 mil. So it was completely linear, exactly the same all the way through. So basically, to get the kilos per millimeter uh, calculation, what I did was I did 15 kilos divided by 30. So that gives me half a kilo per millimeter. So I said before in the video that uh, the rate that I'm looking for for my weight is 0.42. So this is too stiff a spring for me. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to order those, I'm going to, I'm going to build the forks. I'm going to put these springs in uh, just so that they're in the bike. I'll order some and then I'll literally, I'll just take the springs out uh, when they when the new ones turn up and then um, and then I can fit the new ones it's a five minute job proper simple proper simple job uh, so that's what I'm going to do so I, I know now that I need to get new springs there we go simple way to calculate a spring rate if there is no markings on the springs uh, is, uh, is, is is this little contraption here it's not pretty but it does work Please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just search Phoenix Motos.